With car ownership soaring in the 1950s and the creation of the interstate highway system, Americans needed somewhere to fill up all those automobiles, so gas stations started popping up all over the country. From small towns with only a couple gas pumps to their name, to big cities with dozens of gas stations, almost every part of America got to experience this newfound car culture. In 1950, the average price of gas in the United States was 27 cents a gallon, but by 1960, that number would rise to 31 cents. Gas stations of the past may not look too different from today, but almost all were considered full service, meaning the employees would pump your gas. On arrival, you drive over a hose and a bell would ring, alerting the uniform attendant who would come over to your pump. The attendant would not only pump your gas, but also clean your windows, check your tire pressure, and even your fluid levels, all without you having to leave your car. In the 1950s and 60s, you could also purchase gas at a variety of places besides a typical gas station. Smaller communities throughout America that could not support a full-service gas station would instead have a couple pumps outside the town's general store. You could even encounter a diner with gas available, allowing you to fill up your stomach and your gas tank all on the same stop.
Besides being known for their great service, gas stations of the time were also known for their freebies. Gas stations would give away everything from a map of the state you were currently traveling through to a fancy wall calendar. Perhaps the strangest freebie was a tiger's tail from Esso. Esso was most famous for their put a tiger in your tank gasoline advertisements promoting their special blend of gasoline. <laughs> 